What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well and healthy out there. For today's video, Ricardo and I are in Selma, Alabama, and I made sure I pronounced Selma correctly because a lot of you guys corrected me because I was saying Mobile, Alabama. I might be, I'm, I might mess that up, but I think it's Mobile. Forgive me if it's incorrect once again. But today we're at Mr. Waffle here in Selma, Alabama, and Ricardo and I are gonna take on their breakfast challenge. Now this is a massive breakfast. I'm not gonna go over everything right now. I'll go over everything on the inside. I just wanted to do a quick intro. And this um, I think might be the last video of the uh, tour, but we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. So they are cooking on the inside. I can't wait to try all their food. Ricardo, you have anything to say? Let's eat. Oh, he's hungry. We're hungry. It's a late breakfast. Right now, it's about like five, a little after five. Both Ricardo and I are fasted and starving. So let's go ahead and uh, check out what this food is all about. All right guys, so we have the Monster of Breakfast Challenge in front of us. It's honestly a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, in front of us, we have eight pancakes. Eight is for Ricardo, eight is for me. We have strawberry, chocolate, pecan, and blueberry. I love strawberry, so I'm really gonna enjoy that one. We have a country fried ham, a Western omelet, a massive bowl of grits with some butter on top of them. And then we have this insane amount of scatter browns. Uh, with cheese on top, scrambled eggs, sausage, and four pieces of toast. Eight. So Ricardo, what do you think about this? This is a lot of food, and I'm really hungry, and I don't know, it's 30 minutes. 30 minutes, That's, 30. that terrifies me, because if you guys have been watching, I'm not the fastest eater, and I haven't been a fastest eater in this whole trip, uh, but I'm going to try to get it done in 30 minutes, if I don't talk. And I don't know how much food is here, like maybe seven, eight, or nine pounds. Yeah, but it's a lot of food, and I just hope to enjoy some food here. I never uh, tried grits before, so let's see. And a perfect breakfast. Yeah, Thirty minutes to complete this. Good luck to Ricardo. He's definitely going to smash this. Trace, dos, uno. I am going to do what you're going to do. Digging into the ham first. I should just use my hands. Mm -hmm. When you put the bread, it balances the flavor. Now, I'm finally onto the omelet, and you are done. Okay guys, <clears throat> the country ham is done. Along with the omelet, the omelet is super lovely, but now, I'm trying to play catch up with him here. This is a lot of hash browns, oh my lord. No. Ooh, I kind of want to have some of these waffles. I just want a sliver of this one here. Blueberry waffles here. That's a beautiful waffle. A nice outside. All right, just one more bite. We're almost 10 minutes in. He's endless. Never tried it before. Mm. 
So I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. And if you are, please do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It would mean the world. So going into this challenge, I had no idea how big it was going to be. Ricardo estimated it at around eight or nine pounds. And I would completely agree with him when they had all the food on the fryer, the ham, the eggs, the hash browns, the hash browns, which there was so much of it. I think, no, for sure, this is the most hash browns I've ever eaten in my life. And if I had to estimate the weight of the hash browns, I would probably say maybe around four, maybe three pounds. Everything so far has been amazing. You can see Ricardo already smashed the hash browns. I told you in the beginning of this video, he was gonna smash his challenge. And I guess we'll just have to see. Remember, it's only 30 minutes to complete this. That is not much time to be eating around eight or nine pounds of food, but you guys will have to see what we do. Oh my lord, I think it took me like 12 minutes to eat all those hash browns. The most hash browns I've ever had in my entire life. I'm gonna enjoy these pancakes. So um, yeah, we are 22 minutes in, 22 and a half minutes in. I can tell he's taking it easy on me right now. <laughs> he could have finished this a long time ago. I feel no. No? no? These pancakes are no easy. <sighs> I just had to adjust the ISO. And we are on to the waffles, finally finishing those scatter browns. Now the waffles were amazing, light and fluffy, and I do have a bowl of grits about halfway full because I was using it for the bread and then the other items I was just kind of dipping just to make it a little easier to eat. But as you guys can see, Ricardo, he's on his last waffle and about to finish this. We're about 27 minutes in. Ricardo will definitely be able to finish it. For me, that's another story. But I wanna give a huge thank you to Mr. Waffle for having us over. They were very kind. And if you guys are interested in doing this challenge, just give them a call. Make sure to let them know that you wanna try the challenge. And if you're in the area, go ahead and give them a shot. If you love breakfast food, then this is the spot for you. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of the video. Is that galera push it down? Thank you. Good job. 28 minutes and 48 seconds. Let's go. Come on. I have one minute to go. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm, I totally. 10 seconds. 20, 20, 10 more seconds. This was no easy challenge. It was very tasty. I really like it. It's important that he finalize everything. Life is the important thing. To eat the mouth. I don't know. And that's where the video ends. My SD card actually filled up, so it stopped recording completely after that. But the 30 minutes was up already, and that was the last food I stuck in my mouth. So I failed this challenge. I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to complete it in 30 minutes. I'm not a fast eater, you guys know that. Something I need to improve on. Had I had 45 minutes, I definitely would have been able to complete it. But for this video, we take the L. And Ricardo is the one and only winner for this particular challenge. But again, a huge thank you to Mr. Waffle for having us. They made our time very enjoyable. And they even moved around the dining room specifically for us. So thank you again for that. So this is the end of our tour. This is the last video. And it was a lot of fun going on the road with Ricardo. He's an awesome eater with a massive, massive YouTube channel with over 2 million subscribers. If you guys love eating content, his channel is the one to check out. You guys won't go wrong. He has a massive capacity and he's a fast eater. So if you guys missed any of the tour videos, just go back in the history, it's all the previous videos. I'll definitely be doing this again. Thank you to all you guys for the continued support. It means the world. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.